What's up, people of YouTube? I picked up a bunch of Guitar Hero guitars on Facebook that I was going to flip on Amazon or eBay or whatever, and um, one of them is not working. So I cracked it open and I found the problem. The Basically, the strum part wasn't registering on the downstroke. Um, so I thought I would show you, it's a pretty simple mechanism, how you can fix it. I've already confirmed the problem. Um, I already, I wasn't planning on making this video, so I've already got the guitar torn down. Um, I'll go over with you briefly how to tear it down. It's, it's super easy, but all guitars are going to kind of be different. The mechanism inside of this one, I would imagine, is pretty similar to that inside of them all. Um, it's just a couple of momentary switches right here. This sits on top of this right here. Okay, this is this is the part on the other side. The guitar's upside down. I had to pull the face plate off to get to the screws, but there's your strum, okay? And, and this here sits with a couple of springs that sit here. They sits right here, and there's a spring that sits here. And then they kind of just are held in place. This screws down there. And every time you strum up, it hits one switch. And every time you strum down, it hits another switch. And then the, basically the problem is, is on one, if it's not registering, the strum is not pushing this little uh, piece of metal here down enough. If you can see right there, there's a little button that pushes down when you strum. And so all you have to do um, and I can't do it while holding the camera, but I'm just going to explain it to you. You just uh, bend this piece a little bit so that when this rocks back and forth, you kind of going to bend it. You're going to bend it up. But at the same time, when you bend it up, you want to bend it up from the midsection so that from the middle point downward is still, it stays pretty much the same because you still want it to engage that little tiny that little tiny button right there. I don't know. Oh, let me get a screwdriver and point it out to you. There is a little button right there. Cut on my screwdriver right in there. And you want it to still engage that. So you're going to bend this this way in uh, an upward direction. Um, well, but only from the middle of that flap upward so that it continues to engage that little button there. Um, anyway, that should fix your problem, um, and, and it should strum great again. I am going to put this back together, um, but real quick, I'm gonna go over how I broke it down. It's pretty simple. Um, what you wanna do is you're gonna flip it in this orientation so your, all your controls are on the, well, yeah. The first thing you're gonna do, sorry, you're gonna work on it from the strum position up. You gotta pop your face plate off, which in this case is this one here. Okay, and that just pops off. Um, it's not screwed on, it's just a couple of clips. So just be gentle with it. Um, get a screwdriver up under the side of it a little bit or whatever and just slowly pop it off. Um, and then that's gonna give you access to all these screws. As you can see, there's a lot of screws. These are the ones just holding the housing together. These are the six screws that held that little circuit board, board on where those momentary switches are. Also, you're gonna have to, right here, is a little void if removed sticker. Chances are if you have one of these guitars, it's not under warranty anymore, so who cares, right? Pull all of those off. Also, um, I have this on here because I was just testing it, but when you're trying to take it apart, you're gonna remove your neck, which is really easy to do. I'm sure you can, on the back side here, this is a little lock here. You hit it in the unlock position and it just pops right out. So um, anyway, that's how I'm gonna fix it. I am going to go ahead and, and bend these to where I, I want them, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Um, I went ahead and made those bends. It turns out that the bending needs to be very subtle. Um, you're not looking for a real significant bend. I bent them a little too far the first time, um, so I just bent them back, and it's just the tiniest, most subtle bend. And, and the thing I found is you just kind of got to play with it, um, I have the board uh, screwed back in a little bit. It's really just these two corner bolts, screws, whatever, um, that hold it in place. These two are for the springs. I don't know if you can see the spring right there. And there's a little plastic fitting that goes in the top of the board um, that fits down inside of the spring on either side. So I just put the two corner ones back on um, because I was, you know, I took this off and I tried, I think, two times before I got it the way I wanted it. Um, I feel like it could could be a little bit better, but it just kind of plays like a guitar here, a guitar now that has some wear on it. Um, but anyway, I've got 
rock band there. Uh, uh, what is it? Guitar Hero. What is it? Rock band. It's Green Day Rock Band loaded up. Um, and uh, I'll uh, start playing and show you that it actually fixed it. Don't judge me, I suck. I have it all the way on easy. So as you can see, it's picking up pretty well. Minus my four skills on this. But it is registering every time I, I uh, hit it. So. Anyway. That's how you fix a messed up strum on an old Guitar Hero guitar. If you got one laying around that's not working well for you, the repair is going to take you about a half an hour. It's not going to cost you any money in parts. Um, that's provided, of course, there's little momentary switches on there are fine. I uh, hope you found that video helpful. Um, again, I remind you that I was not planning on doing a repair video, but I got halfway through the teardown and I was like, hey, you know what, this could help somebody. So uh, sorry it's not as structured as it could be or could have been. Um, but, uh, you know, anyone who watches this will have a good idea of how to fix it. Anyone that's going to tear into a guitar rather than go buy a new one is going to be inclined enough to figure out how to take it apart. So, all right, I guess that's it. Um, if you found anything useful in this, please, please like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. All right, until next time.